Hi guys and welcome to today's video. It is Naked Week. It's Naked Week. It's Naked Week. It's Naked Week. Yesterday I did the Urban Decay Naked Original Palette. Today, funny enough, being day two of Naked Week, we're going to be doing the Naked 2 palette. If you haven't seen my previous video, I'm going to make a playlist of Naked Week, so I'll be linking it up in the eye so you can check that out if you haven't already. The whole point of this, like I'm very aware that Naked palettes are not a new thing, in fact they're probably the oldest collection uh, out of them all. Maybe like one of the oldest collections, like the Naked line. Um, so I'm aware it's, it's not new, it's not novel, it's been done a hundred times. But I just want to delve back into the makeup that I used to love, I still love, but because it's a collector's item, maybe I don't delve into it as much and I'm so caught up on new stuff, new stuff, new stuff, um, that I don't actually reflect on the things that I used to love. The palettes that I was absolutely obsessed with when I first bought them and of course Urban Decay released the Ultraviolet palette and I couldn't justify purchasing it but I was like I need this, I need this palette to complete the collection, uh, so I, I justified that purchase by creating Naked Week. So Naked Week, day two, equals Naked Two. I love this palette, I'm so excited. Let's get into it. Yes, I have kept the boxes for all of these palettes and uh, this is the original. The original box is in pristine condition because I'd like to think that I pride myself on taking good care of my makeup. I'm a clean bean when it comes to my makeup. It looks like this, it's in the Tinny palette, obviously upgrading from the original Naked, which was like that velvety thing that I don't particularly like because it gets like the fuzzies on it and it freaks me out. Um, but this is the Tin, and as you open it, the palette looks like this, obviously we get the classic mirror, and it's a much more cool toned, smoky palette. This, believe it or not, was one of my favorite, favorite palettes. I don't know why I did it like that, but from Urban Decay, uh, the Naked line, this to me was like the cool toned dream. It was sexy, it was beautiful, I loved wearing it, um, and yeah, I mean, I, to be honest with you, I, I, I still dip into this every now and again when I feel like it, so it's still a well-loved palette. This palette was released nine years ago, I believe. I think it was released in the later half of 2011, because the original palette, this one here, was released in the latter part of 2010 I believe. I might be slightly off with those dates. I believe that this palette was released in the latter half of 2011 so this is a nine-year-old palette not this one specifically but you know the palette itself is nine years old which is pretty remarkable. There's still I'd say one of so a lot of people's favourites to this day. So um, yeah let's get in and swatch this puppy. So for the first show we have Foxy which it's going to be very similar to my skin tone. I'll try and layer it up again. But this is a creamy, yellowy white. Like I said, it is literally the shade of my skin. So, oh my gosh, it's probably not going to show up at all. We then have Half Baked. This one right here, which is this nice pale gold metallic. We then have Booty Call, which is this pearly white. I'd say more of a satin than a metallic. Um, but it's this satin colour right here. We then have the shade Chopper, which is almost like this bronzy, slightly rose goldy metallic. We then have Tease, which is this taupey, brownish uh, matte, kind of the shade of my nails, very cool toned. And then we have Snake Bite, this one right here, quite a classic from Urban Decay. It's a brown, really grungy metallic shade there. We then have the shade Suspect this taupey kind of silver. We then have Pistol, which is like this gun metal grey shade, again a metallic. And then we have Verve, which is this beautiful silver. If you know me at all, you know I love a silver. We then have YDK, which is this taupey brown silvery tone shade, kind of like a silver flip. We then have Busted, this very deep brown, kind of near black brown metallic. And then we have, is it Busted? No, Blackout, sorry. Blackout, which is the matte black in this palette. So actually this palette is not as pigmented as I remember, but it is definitely like a cool toned, you can definitely see the, like, the cool tones in this palette. Um, it's really, really pretty. That silver is just as beautiful as I remember. And yeah, I mean, it's not, it's funny, when I swatch it on my arm, it's not how I remember this palette looking on the eyes. So yeah, that's the palette um, swatched there for you. Very pretty, 
it's not as creamy as the naked one but it's very pretty uh let's let's get this on my eyes if you watched my previous video you'd know that i'm going to be doing two looks with each of the palettes and that is going to be like more of a daytime look and more of a nighttime look there are 12 shades in each of the palettes so i'm trying to show off two looks like try and show off as many shadows as i poss possibly can um using the palette so i feel like a daytime and nighttime look will show the two ends of the spectrum it's not necessarily a daytime and nighttime it's more of just a light and a darker look the first shade i'm going to be diving into is the shade foxy this very matte pale white yellow shade and because it's so close to my skin tone i'm just going to set my concealer and just kind of create a bit of a a powdery base for my eyeshadow and just take that literally all over the lid and all over the brow bone just take it everywhere the next shade i'm going to go into is tease this taupey grayish taupe color um it's actually the only other matte in the palette other than foxy and the uh, blackout shade which is a matte black so won't be using that for a daytime look yet maybe i will i'm not sure but uh, i'm going to use this and just fluff this through the crease and create a bit of a shadow in my crease area i don't want to build up too much because it is quite gray toned but i'm just gonna build up and create almost like a shadow around my eye Okay, now I've kind of got like the basis of that shadow down like to really just create this taupey coloured shadow I've not built up too much but you can definitely see it I'm gonna go into the shade chopper which is this rose co cold rose cold rose gold shade but it's more of a cool toned gold uh, rather than a warm tone and I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna smush this all over my lid I think maybe just like on the outer half for now let's just pat this in just like that, baby. And I think just still with like the remnants of that chopper shade, I'm going to go into half baked with the same finger because I kind of want it to be kind of smushed together but just blend well. And I'm going to go in the other half of my eye in the inner corner and just try and blend the two together slightly but not dragging it out too much. Obviously the whole point of these naked palettes, um, or originally the theme, like you'll probably see in the first three especially, that the naked palettes were supposed to be that versatile everyday look to enhance your natural features and to kind of look not so vibrant to, to look like you've got makeup on but not in your face to look naked you know that was the whole concept was for really subtle sort of makeup so if the first three looks or the, especially the first two so they've got those browns in do look quite similar that's because the palettes were made for that um so yeah i just saying if if you're thinking wow this is looking very similar to your previous daytime look that's because they're naked palettes and they were supposed to look like this naked you know <laughs> i'm then going to go into the shade snake bite which is this shade right here and i'm going to just take a little fluffy dense fluffy brush <laughs> and i'm just going to wiggle this on the outer corner to create a little bit more depth but i don't want to take over that chopper shade i don't want to like take away from the rose gold i just want to add a little bit of shadow just there I'm going to go back into tease that blending brush and just kind of make sure it's all blended together in the crease and that I haven't got any blockiness. Just a touch. Going in with a little flat shader brush, I'm going to go into the shade Booty Cool, which is this pearlized colour but with like a satin finish. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner. I think just to add a little bit of more something something I could add black liner but I'm trying to focus my attention on the palette I'm gonna go into the shade blackout that deep oh, right there <laughs> that's deep matte black 
and I'm gonna go in with this very thick liner brush it's actually a brow brush but I'm gonna try and do like a messy like subtle but not subtle smoky wing not too dramatic just something nice and small In with a little bit of half baked and chopper just on my two fingers just to add a little bit of intensity to any product that got fluffed away there you know just like that okay I mean the wings are definitely sisters not twins but yeah let's put some mascara on and put a little lip on and then I'll be right back okay I've got you zoomed out I was gonna go for a nude lip and then I was like no Megan no, because if you carry on doing this, every darn look is going to have a bloody nude lip in every single one of them. And I thought that this look, because it's kind of cool tones and kind of like bronzy, but bronzy, I don't know. Um, then, you know, I could get away with using a red lip. This is Mama by Co Coco Pop. No, Colour Pop. Um, I don't know if they still sell this, but it's in my project pan, so I thought I'd just use it. And I used my Essence You Better Work mascara. So, yeah, I mean, I love this mascara, so I knew that I would like this with this look. And I like the lip. I feel like it pairs very nicely with it. I feel with, with a cool toned look, sometimes reds don't always go. I find myself that either you've got to be very stark with cool tones, like you go for a really bright colour, um, which is obviously different, or you go for like a nude that kind of matches the look. Sometimes I feel like you've got to get the right red. And I feel like because there's a hint of warmth in there because of those golds, I'm able to get away with the red anyway. I, I digress. Um, this, this daytime look is something I would wear. I mean, it's very simple, very basic. Is it my favourite look? No, not really. Um, to be honest with you, I love this palette for this end of it, the one that I'm actually covering up with my hand. I love it for this end and not so much this end. I find that these shades are actually pretty basic and they're nothing new. I'm, you know, if, if I was to be on camera right now, you wouldn't necessarily know that this is the palette I have on my face. It's, it's not, it's nothing special, you know? Um, but it's a nice look. It's nothing that I dislike. I wish the metallics were a little bit more vivid. Um, you know, a little bit more foiled, a little bit more pigmented. Um, I'm used to more pigment nowadays in other palettes, especially with our gold tones, they're so easy to make, uh, that I wish these were a little bit more pigmented. But, you know, it's pretty, and for a naked look, I feel like if you took away the red lip, and you just had it like this, then it's cute. It's cute, and yeah, very daytime appropriate. So this was my daytime look with the Naked 2 with the pop of red. But yeah, this is the daytime look, like the lighter the lighter look with this end of the palette. And let's get into the nighttime look, hence, you know, just the darker, smokier look with this end, which is my favorite. So this is the daytime look. Let's get into the dark and smokiness. Okay, I'm back. 20 minutes later, it took me an absolute while to uh, remove that makeup and I had to redo everything and it was a whole thing but I'm back hopefully looking the same when I did when I started this video let's get into this beautiful smoky mm, side of this palette I really hope it's what I remember it being and that is delicious so let's get into this I'm going to do exactly the same as I did before and use Foxy this pale yellowish white shade to set down my concealer I mean why not why not I'm going to go into teas as it's the only matte in this entire palette. That offends me a little bit, I'm not going to lie to you, it, it kind of offends me. But I'm going to try and build this up a lot, a bit more compared to the previous look. So we might be here for a little while, but I, I want to make this really smoky. same 
brush I'm going to go into Blackout. Why am I so cat handed? Blackout this one right here with the same fluffy brush and kind of like gingerly take this through the crease like I just did with Tease. But like not to fluff out too much. I'm just working from the outer corner in so that there's lesser product going in the inner corner than there is on the outer corner. I'm gonna go back into T's just to touch, just to blend this out as I go. I just wanna make sure that it doesn't get too out of control because you know, it's not the most pigmented black in the world. Like I'm gonna be like real with you, it's not the most pigmented black that I've ever used, but it's quite easy to get out of control with deeper shades. So I'm just gonna go back and forth with blackout and tees if I find that it's getting a little bit too much. But as you can see, it's more like a deep gray at the moment because I've been just fluffing it out gently. And it's really, yeah, it's really smoky and just how I wanted it. On a denser, kind of like tiny, tiny little like crease brush, I mean you could probably say this is a pencil brush, but it's not, it's just a tiny little brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Busted, this one right here, and just put like a touch of this, just on like the outer corner where that black is, but just kind of work that in a tiny, tiny bit. Because it is metallic, I don't want too much of it everywhere. I just want it to kind of intensify that black area here. into the shade YDK this one right here it's like that taupey kind of silver flip sort of shade and I have got a damp brush it's not soaking it's literally just damp and I'm gonna just press this I'm gonna go back in with the same brush into busted just to kind of blend that into each other just in the outer corner there. I'm also going to go into Blackout as well, again with a fluffier brush and just re-intensify the outer corner. I don't really want to lose that matteness to any of the shimmers, so I'm just going to keep going backwards and forwards if I feel like that's being lost at all. I'm then gonna go into the shade Verve, this beautiful silver. It's kind of got like a taupey undertone, but it is, it's like the most silver silver in this palette. I am gonna wet this a little bit, just to make sure it sticks on my lid. The metallics from this palette are always better wet. They just go on a little bit smoother. But look at that, that's still pretty. And I'm trying to try and blend it into that YDK shade a little bit as well. And I'm also taking this ever so slightly into the inner corner just to brighten that up a little bit as well. With the same brush, I'm just going to go back into YDK and just kind of pat and blend everything together so it's not stripey like a zebra. Because, you know, that's not cute. Like I said earlier, just going back into blackout, just to re-intensify the black, and blend it all together. And then finally I'm going to go into pistol, this one right here. I know it's a metallic, but I'm just going to take it on a pencil brush and just drag it on my lower lash line to kind of really smoke it out. I don't want the black on there, but this grey, even though it's metallic, it'll kind of just give that effect without being too harsh. And then with a the pencil brush I'm going to go into Booty Call, this one right here, and just go over the inner corner, just to kind of re-intensify the inner corner but make it not look so robotic silver. Just make it, I say natural, but make it look a bit more glistening. 
rather than silver. And then I'm just going to take that on the brow bone as well. Okay, so that's like the cool smokiness. I'm going to get some mascara, maybe a pair of lashes, maybe a pair of lashes, and a lip on, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, like, again, another 20 minutes later, because I stabbed myself in the eye with my own finger trying to press the lash on. It was, like, a whole drama. So if this eye looks watery and red, that's because it is. That's because I, I literally squeezed my eyelid, and it was absolutely excruciating. So, sorry if it looks watery and runny. Not a lot I can do about that. I put on a Colourpop strip, is this? Yes, yeah, strip on my lips. I just feel like a nude would have looked really great with this sort of grey toned smokiness. Um, I applied my Essence Mascara again, and the lashes I've got on are the Ilya Enchanted Forever Lash. I'm not sure if these are available, but I'm just trying to get through my lashes, so it's a good option. I don't really like them that much, actually. I don't think they're even even either, so it's just a demonstrating look with this on. I actually really like the smoky look. I prefer it much more than my daytime look and I feel like these shades are really really beautiful and definitely if you want a darky smokier, smokier look then this is executed okay. So that is it. That is my two looks with the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. This is much less pigmented than what I remember it being but then again I never really used this for daytime looks like for these shades here I always use it for the shades I've got my eyes now and I forget how much I love like a grey toned smoky eye I actually love it I feel like because I've got dark eyes obviously I've got brown eyes and brown hair I feel like I don't look too drag queeny with darker eyes on and I feel like this is a really simple um, I personally think quite a sexy smoky eye and actually it was really really easily achieved with this Naked 2 palette. I know a lot of people still own this palette so hopefully today, sorry I can't stop looking at myself, I'm like oh yeah it's pretty, it's shimmery, it's like got the right amount of shimmer, the right amount of silver, it looks very simple but very classy I feel and you could easily pair this with a red lip, a neon lip, whatever you wanted, I just thought I'd pair it with a nude lip today just because a little bit more wearable in my personal opinion but I hope you've enjoyed today's video I hope you've enjoyed me playing around with the Naked 2 palette on day 2 of Naked Week um, if you have this palette tell me down below do you still own this palette? were you excited about this palette? did you love it as much as I did um, before we have the plethora of palettes that we have today um, and have I inspired you at all? if I have please do not forget to give me a good old thumbs up the whole point of Naked Week is to get out my old palettes especially and specifically my naked palettes to be inspired once again by my old makeup and I definitely feel like I have been this look I have got on right now is I'm feeling myself I feel good about it and it's it's reminded me what I loved so much about this palette so yeah hope you've enjoyed today's video thumbs up if you have subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload I upload every single week and you wouldn't want to miss out on more content from me especially when we're doing weeks like this where I'm just churning them out every day. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of my makeup that I've got on my face will be listed in the description bar below like it always is. Thank you, take care and I will see you in my next one. Bye!